And wouldn't you know it, I just can't leave well enough alone. So we're going to work on the ear more. You can see in front of the ear I completed some of the temporary geometry. And also on the bottom I pulled out the ear lobe. So we're just going to go in and quickly make a few minor tweaks. Uh, make it a little bit more appealing. We're just adjusting, doing some minor point editing. So we've got a pretty good looking ear now. Not too shabby. So we've got a nice curve going along the back. Um, the coil on the top I like quite a bit. As well as the bottom uh, has a nice little sharp edge. And then the bottom is of the earlobe is rounded out nicely. You can see that I've extruded out the neck a bit uh, when we go back into wireframe. All I did was select the points along the bottom and pull them out. Now we're going to do a sweep. Just quickly we rotate the neck just a bit and now we're going to sweep it. Now I'm I paused and then just continued sweeping out and created the basic shape of the rib cage. You can see that I pulled out um, the shape for the shoulder as well as the shoulder blades and chest. And now the width that I went by is basically almost another width of the head. The shoulder will actually come out a little bit more when we finish off the arm. Now there's a few curves that you need to keep in mind on the front and back of the chest. There's the curve of the spine in the back as well as the curve of the rib cage in the front. And then on the top view you can see how the rib cage is kind of shaped almost like a football with the collarbones and such in the front. Then I also kind of made this area right here that we're going to sweep the arm out of. Now unfortunately, or fortunately, I left some work undone. We need to go back in and add some more loops that go back into where the arm will sweep out of. That's so that we have more geometry within the arm. To make a little bit smoother as we sweep it out from the body. Now later on I'll probably add in another line that goes along the top. I just did a little bit more point editing to round out the shape. Um, kind of get the rib cage a bit nice. Look in the front where the chest where the pectorals are. Now we're just rounding out this shape of where the, the arm is going to come out from. So we've got the shape now pretty much roughed in. And we're going to kind of sweep out a nub that will then use as our basis for the arm. Now I tend to prefer models that aren't um, muscle bound. So this guy will most likely just be thin, kind of trim, and not extremely defined as far as muscle structure goes.
We will be modeling some clothing on him, but we won't start that until later. So we're just trying to get the basic shape and the shoulder blades, uh, the neck muscles and all that, just kind of how we want it. Then we'll go back in and actually refine this more as we get more of the geometry made.